All right, welcome back. I already voice. I was oh, gonna geez, say, man, voice creep. Uh, God, this is what an awful way to start. What a great start, actually. Every podcast we start, I always say this is the worst start. <laughs> it's gotten progressively worse for me. It's fine. We we have to beat ourselves every intro. Yeah, it's, at least you're not lying every time. It's true. <laughs> Ouch. Yikes. Uh, it is I, your host, Primo, aka Starboy, aka Danny Ryan. Yeah, mm-hmm. nice to meet you. Uh, today we got a special guest, but first interview, uh, not interview, interview. This is getting worse and worse, man. <laughs> it work, it work, man it's fine. Who's, it's fine. Who's the host here? Yeah, you know, we all are community together. Effort. Anyways, with our powers show. combined. Uh, hello, it's I, it's I uh, Mr. Filet Fish, Felix <laughs> Rogers. That's what we're going with this week. Uh, coming at you with another fantastic outlook on life. Filet Fish, everyone. <laughs> man, those, those things are good. That's your best one. That's the best one. I, the best I like. One. I like that the best. <laughs> All right. We also got the boy Jay Mazing in, in the, the building. building. In the building. He's the rain, back in. Yeah. The rain is still loud. You know. This time we try to board it up like it's Call of Duty Zombies, and he found a way to squirm mm-hmm. in. <laughs> Can't keep me out. Can't keep me out, guys. Couldn't, couldn't find the nuke. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst, man. Or the best. Viewers the best. probably love That's you. Fine. Uh, special guest. Yeah. Ace, what's up? How you doing? What's going on? Doing pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Thanks for having me on, guys. What's the light side like, dude? Bro, it's it's cool actually, man. It's pretty yeah. rad. Like uh, that last show when everybody popped, dude. Holy hell! Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that. I mm-hmm. thought everyone hate every show that I've been to that you've been on. You've been booed and like dude, heckled yeah. pretty bad. Like straight up singled out. I'm like, yeah. dang, dude, do I suck in the ring or what? <laughs> like, it was, it was, it was never, it was never like a screw OSD. It was like a screw specifically yeah, Ace. Yeah. It really yeah. was. Just was. Ace. I was always like, dang, dude, I, am I missing like, something? Like, <laughs> I, uh, one of my favorite insults, uh, I don't know, someone called you something and then you just turned around at them and you like whipped your head so dramatically and you're like, shut up, you meatball. <laughs> and then they were like, I'm a meatball. And like for the whole show, they were chanting that they were a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> the whole show, oh, they were chanting that they were a meatball. Just a highlight. I called someone a fat down. donut last show, too. <laughs> I was about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, OSD is full of insults. You guys have the best insults on the whole show. Oh, yeah? Valiente gets into it. Dude, Valiente. Okay, bro, I don't know if you guys heard it, but uh, <laughs> it cracked me up. So when we were doing that six-man tag, some girl was like, said something to Jose, right? And yeah. Jose we walked it over, and he was like... <sighs> It smells like fish over here. <laughs> Dude, funniest thing I've ever heard. I was like, bro, he oh took it to a whole God. new level. He claps um, back, man. Dude, that dude will clap back on anybody. Always. He's anybody. always been like that, too. I've known Jose since, dude, since we were 14. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, he was like my best friend. And, uh, yeah, dude, he's always been like that. Jeez. Like, Snappy. Mm-hmm. If someone breathes his way, he's he's got an insult for you. Yeah, he's it ready. Does not matter. The he's theme, ready. The occasion. But yeah. you just touched on it. You've known him since you were fourteen. Since you guys were fourteen. Yeah. Since yeah. I was 14. So how long have you been wrestling, man? Okay, so um, it was two thousand five, two thousand six. Mm-hmm. It was one of those two. I can't remember. Uh, quite a few concussions since then. Oof. <laughs> um, but this was when MySpace was a thing, right? And oh. so I was in school with his sister and. Like, we were good friends, and then I saw his picture on MySpace, and it was him getting hit tossed And I was like, bro. Oh, yeah. I was like, dude, how are you doing that? Like, where are you doing that? Yeah. And I slid up, slid up in his DMs. So I was like, <laughs> as you do on MySpace. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right. dude. With Tom as our friend. Um, <laughs> but I was like, Shout dude. out Tom. Yeah, shout out Tom. Thanks, man. Uh, <laughs> if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be wrestling yet. There you go. Hey, shout out to Tom, man. Shout out doing to Tom. I hope, I hope he's doing yeah. all right. Yeah, me too, man. I don't like Tom anymore. Continue. Oh, not, your, <laughs> not okay. your baby. Uh, but so yeah, slid up in Jose's DM. Uh, showed up here, man. And back in the day, it was called QFC Quest for Champions. I didn't know that. So it was ran by George, mm-hmm. and then Pops was head trainer. He was almost pretty much like the owner. He's kind of had that same staple as you would. Yeah. And so um, whenever we did that, uh, I showed up, and then there was another guy. His name was Bobo. And okay. <laughs> he was like head trainer at the time for beginners. Games. Yeah. And so they they interviewed me. They made me come down. It was like a Wednesday. It was like the first week out of school, like mm-hmm. uh, junior high, going into summer. And so I was like, sweet, man, cool. I was like, what time do I need to be there? They are like, come by. Can you be here at 3 o'clock? I was like, yeah, dude, I'll be here 3 nice. o'clock. Okay. And, uh, dude, they made me roll from 3 to 6. Just, just straight non-stop rolling. forward rolls. Ooh. No quarter rolls, back rolls, just straight 
forward rolls for three hours. <laughs> Your I head was, must have been turning. Dude, I was so dizzy. <laughs> and then 6 o'clock came. So I want to say we used to do practice from 6 to 10 back then. And so 6 o'clock came. They were like, how are you feeling? I was like, man, I just need some water. I'm like, I'm, I'm dizzy. I don't know where I'm at, really. Yeah. And so uh, he was like, all right, well, practice is about to begin. We're going to teach you how to do some bumps, so first and foremost. So Ooh, yeah. we go over to the corner, and they just start showing me some you know, little uh, break falls, break fall one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Right? And so we're on a mat, just like not even in the ring yet. We're just, just a on mat. a mat. And so we're doing that. And then, oh, somebody's here. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, dude, I kept hitting my head. Like, oh, once we went to no. the ring, I had the worst headache. And I was like, dude, I'm done. I can't wrestle. This hurts. Yeah. And... Dude, I remember going home crying. Like, I was oh. like, dude, this sucks. I'm not going to live my dream of being a wrestler. Like, I can't make it. Yeah. And then, uh, but that night I also, you know, I want to say this since I saw ACH earlier. Yeah. Uh, met uh, met him. And, like, dude, there's, like, that secret handshake in wrestling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I went to shake his hand, like, you know, like, you just say your boys, you yeah. know. <laughs> and he was like, whoa, bro. He's like, we're not in the hood anymore, man. <laughs> We're in wrestling. And then he showed me how to do the proper handshake. And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't know that. It's mm-hmm. like, I know Undertaker lives here in Texas. Hopefully I can meet him and show him this little handshake. <laughs> right? He's like, hey, you wrestle, huh? I'm like, yeah, man. <laughs> I always thought that would have been cool as a kid, you know, but never our dreams. Yeah. Um, but then, so I was 13, 13, 14 when all that started out. And then, yeah, man, did that for two, three years and then took – like 10 years off, had some knee injuries coming up. And were those because of wrestling? 100%, yep. Oh, man. Like, my knees were completely locking on me, so that really sucked. Yeah? Um, Do you know how that came to be? Dude, uh, I mean, I, okay, so I loved Amazing Red. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> if you know who Amazing Red yeah. is, dude, like, I remember when I was watching him, I was like 13, 14. He had mm-hmm. already had, like, eight blown-out knees. Mm-hmm. And, like... Mm-hmm. The reason is, dude, you flip all the time. It takes a toll mm-hmm. on you. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you'll, you'll feel it soon <laughs> I enough. Hope not. I hope not. <laughs> you'll feel it soon enough, man, sadly. Um, <laughs> but when I wasn't on a ring, I was at my home jumping on a trampoline. Yeah. You know, practicing just, flips. Okay. You know, uh, I remember seeing, like, gifts. Gifts were kind of the new thing back then. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember having a bunch on red, like his corkscrew. Sunset Flip Power Bomb Code Red. Yeah. And then uh, the Red Star Press. And I was like, dude, I'm learning all these right now. Yeah. And they were all in slow mo. So I was like, oh, no. watching his feet, watching all that, practicing, practicing. And so when you start doing all those flips nonstop every day for like, dude, three, four hours, and then yeah. you go wrestle and you do those on a harder pra- uh, Jeez. mat, you know, it, yeah. it takes a toll. Yeah, man. You put your knees on hard mode. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. big time, dude. And so I think it just came from a lot of jumping. More than anything. And yeah. so the knees were just completely locking up. Yeah. Thank so. God I'm a punk and I only flip here in the <laughs> ring because uh, I couldn't imagine just going home. And uh, whenever I was a kid, I guess at that age, yeah, I was doing a lot of flips on the trampoline. Oh, for sure. Wanting to do it. So I can only imagine what your knees were just thinking every time you'd go flip out there for three hours and then come here and try to flip. Good God. Yeah. Yeah. Knees are tender, man. They you can't mess around with knees. Sensitive. Yeah, I know, man. They suck sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but keep going about uh, how you got into wrestling. Oh, yeah. So, um, Jose got me into it. And then Jose used to be married to, or not, not Jose, Manny used to be married to Jose's mom. Mm-hmm. And so, dude, we were, I was literally over at Jose's house every day. Yeah. Like, dude, like, he lived like five minutes away from me. We used to have like table matches, but they were like cardboard boxes. That's dope. <laughs> and then Manny would be there too. And so it'd be just like a triple threat. And then, uh, Saturdays, we'd show up to the actual school mm-hmm. and do, like, we used to have, like, open mat on Saturdays, 12 to 3. Yeah. Nobody would show up. It would just be me, Jose, and Manny. And so, like, dude, we'd pull out, like, the 12-foot ladders. Oh, my God. I'm glad George isn't hearing this. <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably be so pissed. Um, but we used to pull out, like, we had a big 12-foot ladder. We'd pull out the crash pads. Um, we'd bring cardboard boxes, too, oh. and act as tables. And, like, dude, we would just practice stuff all the time and, like, yeah. That's how we were able to, man, perfect our moves, you know? Yeah. And, dude, Manny, he'll call you out. Like, if your stuff looks weak, same with Jose. If your stuff looks weak or 
it's trash, they'll tell you right there. Yeah, I've experienced that firsthand. I've touched on it, I think, a few podcasts ago, but uh, Jose, we were throwing strikes in class, mm -hmm. and afterwards, a few people had left, and I was still in the ring, like, trying to do it. And yeah, Jose, he was like, come on, man. Like, he could throw better than that. Yeah. No, like, no lie. He kept me in the ring for about another hour after class was over, just helped me with him. Yep. They improved after that, too. I, I can say that without a doubt. But yeah, yeah, I, I can I can ring to that. Jose will absolutely tell you when something looks stupid or it sucks. But yep. it, at, least it, at least it goes, like, the extra step and, like, at least helps you. He's yeah. He's just like, that sucks. And, and then just walk walks off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, Jose's a real one for that. I, I really respect Jose. That man's really cool. And Manny, too. Yeah. I mean, we've talked about Manny plenty of times, all the things he's done on the mm -hmm. shows. <laughs> Recent memory. Goat, man. Yeah, yeah. but Manny's, Manny's goaded. Yeah, before, uh, before the first day I showed up for to help with production back in November, the first... Oh. <laughs> the, the, my first introduction was to APW was watching the, the Halloween Manny. show before I showed <laughs> up and I and I just saw Manny die on <laughs> on that on yeah. that ladder match and I was just like well it's oh a great God. introduction yeah. to, to AAPW Man. yeah but I mean it uh hearing you say that like how often you were coming here and doing extra stuff it kind of shows man like yeah you three as a tag team you guys rock <laughs> not, not trying to mark out or anything but uh man, thanks. yeah you guys look like you guys know what you're doing thank you which brother. is the whole point you know, <laughs> of wrestling right. know what you're doing and look like it <laughs> oh yeah but, yeah but um appreciate that yeah, so, yeah, you guys were doing stuff with ladders and cardboards on mats. Dude, trampolines, nonstop, yeah. dude. Like, my parents would be gone. Jose would be coming over, and, dude, we'd have hardcore matches at my house. And, like, God. yeah, dude, it was sweet. We'd start in the house and then work our way out to outside and, dude, full on just like a street fight style match, you know? And then we'd get to the trampoline, put a trampoline or put a ladder on top of the trampoline, and then we'd actually have a real table and, like, Oh, no. <laughs> hey, and this is all while we're, like, getting trained to be wrestlers, too, oh, like, at QFC. God. So, so you're, like, like, 14, 15 at the time or something Yeah, 14, like that. 15, dude. <laughs> just, like, having a ball, you know? Like, yeah? I don't know, man. It, how, uh, how early did you have your first match, then? Dude, okay, so my first match was I was 14 years old, and it was three months in. Mm -hmm. And I was a little Ooh. dude. And then they were like, hey, what, what's your name going to be? And I was like, uh, Vaughn, the Velocity Kid, I guess. And that's what we ran with. And, dude, I don't know if you guys know who Brian XL is, but mm -hmm. he was a dude I always watched too growing up, but I dressed just like him. And I was like, <laughs> dude, I didn't have money for gear. So, like, yeah. I had some sweatpants shorts. I used to wear a do-rag back then. Oh, and, um, yeah. <laughs> th this all eventually transitioned into my next character, which is white chocolate. What? And, <laughs> yeah. And then... White uh, chocolate. Yeah, you got to touch on white chocolate. Yeah, yeah definitely will. Because um, that was a cool gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> that was fun, definitely. Um, I don't know if that gimmick could work these days. Now, oh, 100%. Though. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> You think it could? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was his? Uh, did you base it off of? Um, was it Malibu's Jason? Malibu's most wanted. Malibu's. Oh no. Oh. Mind. <laughs> I was thinking of white chocolate. Uh, I think it was Jason Williams, right? Played for the Kings. If you guys know who I'm talking about. I'm not a basketball guy. Yeah. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, he was called White Chocolate. That dude, honestly, the best like passes you'll ever see, and handles too. Oh sweet. Yeah. White kid had a do rag. He had a do rag. Waves. All that. Oh yeah. Cornrows. Okay, I've seen it. I think I've seen a picture of him. He says yeah. He's played. He played for the Kings, right? He played for the Kings. Okay, I've seen a picture of him. Yeah. But... That dude was a baller. White Chocolate. Hell yeah. yeah. Factoid. There you go. Keep going. Bye hey, bye. Dude, you learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was dressed up in sweatpants, shorts. Uh, Back then, tall tees were cool, so I'd have a tall tee tucked in there, uh, a basketball jersey, and then I had Reebok pumps. Oh, man, and you dude, were early I, 2000s dude, out. I, early 2000s, dude. Like, And I didn't have like cool wrestling gear. I definitely didn't look the part. You yeah. would not have liked watching me back then. I, I had lacked aggression, looked like a spaghetti noodle out there, <laughs> looked like a rag doll, dude. It was, it was garbage. Yeah, <laughs> But, I mean, everyone... Uh, if, especially if you start at that age, you're gonna you're gonna look like that, right? Yeah. How did Jose look? Maybe, dude. Jose was great. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've heard he was like, dude, he was like really made good. for it, like out of the gate, for sure. He, yep. Dude, he's always been aggressive. Um, dude, yeah, he's just. But back then, it was so funny. We used to make fun of him. He would come out to the, you know, out to the ring. Uh -huh. He'd have this serious face on, eyebrows clenched down, and then he would look over at the crowd and be like. Hey, shut up! <laughs> I had this really high squeaked voice because, dude, he was wrestling too at 13. But yeah, that was funny. It's the only Lord. thing we could talk mess about him on. Yeah, Jose is <laughs> a legend, man. That's all I got to say. Yeah. He's a legend. But yeah, uh, so that was your first gimmick. Yep. What was your second one? Was the white chocolate? The second was white chocolate. Yeah. And then uh, 
Yeah, dude, that was that was cool. Um, we there was a group called Ebony Explosion back then. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow. So it was uh, Mikey Thirteen, Mr. B, and I GQ. Mr. B. Oh mm-hmm. my lord. Yeah. So it was all of us, and <laughs> I remember the first skit that we did. They walked in on the ring after one of my matches, and they're like, "Hey!" They grabbed the microphone and they went like that. And yeah. when they did that, I dropped. They wanted me to drop down and say, hey, take cover. We're getting shot at. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, dude. That this was, is not real. This is real. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and they were like, man, what's wrong with you, white boy? Get up. <laughs> and then so uh, they were like, we like you. And then I joined up with the Ebony Explosion, and I was, the, I guess, the token white guy. The token the white boy. <laughs> I have black friends. I do. <laughs> yeah. And I have a white friend. That's dope. Yeah. Well, what came after that one? Uh... Dude, that was pretty much it. Yeah? yeah. How long did that last? White chocolate, uh, man, probably like six months to a year. Six months? Yeah. So so you were doing that for six months. Were you still like wrestling after that, or is that whenever the knee stuff started to happen? Uh, yeah, I was still wrestling. Um, I worked another gimmick. I can't say. Okay. But no, you're good. You're good. It's hmm. uh, American flag. Nice. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give too much away. Uh, but I, I, we, there's like a bunch of us that have partaked in that gimmick. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so that was one of the gimmicks I did too. Um, but then I kind of went back to Velocity Kid actually after that. And I actually started looking like a wrestler. I bought some baggy pants, you know, like Rey Mysterio style yeah, back in the day. Okay. So they were black and gold. They fit my persona a little bit better. And I had some white uh, wrestling boots too mm-hmm. and I was like cool starting to look the part and yeah I went back to Velocity Kid and then dude yeah then the knee stuff started happening Sick. How, how old were you when the knee stuff started happening 15 oh man Ooh. yeah yeah how did your parents feel about that uh dude so we didn't have health insurance so we didn't Ooh. like that yeah not at all dude because I remember the first time it happened we were watching tv me and my dad mm-hmm. and I go to get up and my knees locked like Dude, straight up locked. And I was like, dude, what the hell's going on? And so I was freaking out, you know, and my dad's like, you need to just pop it. And he's like, push your knee down. And mm. so I did, dude, it was the worst pop you'll ever have. If you ever experience it, it sucks. It hurts. Yeah. And so it felt like it just ripped everything inside. And then that happened. And then like a week a week later, it happened again. And I was like, dude, we need to go to the doctor. Like, this hurts. Yeah. Went to the doctor, and then the doctor was like, all right, so you definitely have meniscus issues going on. Mm-hmm. He was, like, just filling around, had the nurse come over. Nurse was like, oh, yeah, something's wrong. And then he was like, here, take this. And it was just a bunch of ibuprofen. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, oh, awesome, cool. I don't even take these when I have a headache. <laughs> yeah. Um, he was like, if your knee's not better, then we'll do an MRI. An MRI. And I was like, well, how much is that? And he was like, three grand. And I was like, <laughs> That's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> you got me messed up. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, dude, that was pretty much the end of it right there for me. And yeah, I, no dude, surgeries, no surgeries. Ooh, man, so, so you've been living on it. Yeah, I mean, but you were young, so I'm guessing it it healed. No, so oh. <laughs> so when that happened, I went to wrestling the very next night, and I was like, hey, dude. so I need to take two weeks off. And, dude, I've never missed a practice. Yeah. For, like, two years, I never missed practice. Not one day. Saturdays, I, I was the only one that ever went. Really? A lot of times, I would just show up, and that dude Bobo would be there. And it would just be us. Mm-hmm. And, and then this other dude, too. Like, he was, like, a friend of the company. He, but yeah. he did, like, collegiate stuff. Mm-hmm. He would be there all the time. And so that's where I would just learn to do, like, the mat style yeah. stuff was working him. Because, dude, bef- when I first started, I could not mat wrestle. Yeah. They were always like, quit flipping. You need to learn how to wrestle first. <laughs> you hear that even to this day. Yeah, dude, yeah. still. I love, but I can wrestle now. Yeah. So, well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, so I told P- uh, Pops and George, I was like, hey, look, you know, I can't do this for two weeks. And we're having our big pay-per-view of the year, which is Hardcore Halloween. Yeah. And I was like... I'll be back for that show just in time for that. And they were like, oh, that's perfect timing. And then things were said, and then I was just like, man, I I need to step away. And then I took 10 years off. Oof, man. Yeah. Uh, If you don't mind me asking, like, how do do your knees feel now? Uh, Not as good. No. (laughs) No, they're still Yeah? Do you plan on getting them worked on? Uh, Man, I don't know. I think it's kind of... No, not anytime. No, soon. no. dude. <laughs> not, not unless I absolutely have to. 
But as soon as I left wrestling, I started doing motocross. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. And so... Give your body a break. Dude, it never stops. And then, so I did motocross. I still do motocross. And then I, the one that really took a toll on my knees was BMX. Yeah. So I can only imagine... Oh my lord! Yeah, yeah. We did uh, we did motocross in my family growing up. Oh. Uh, my dad, my dad did some races uh, a bit and like some minor circuit out near where we, where we lived in Texas. So sweet. So we so we rode a bit too. Uh, we never raced or anything. It was more just like uh, it's, it's Saturday, load up, go out to the park, and you know, dude, have a blast. Oh, it, oh, it was, oh, it was great. It was great. Uh, I even I even got my whole one time hit a ditch, you know, ass over end. Oh, all, all over the place, you know. <laughs> OTV. Oh, yeah. Over the bars. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So, it was great. Yeah, we did the whole thing. We went to the, the Monster Energy stuff, or yeah, I can't remember what it was called back then. Uh, it's Monster Energy now, but it was a million other names. Uh, we did that every year and everything, too. It was, yeah, motocross is fun, but, yeah, if you <laughs> – it'll mess you up if you well, dude, fall definitely. <laughs> once. Man, and you're out here still doing springboards. You were, te- you were teaching me last week how to do a, a shooting star. Man. How? How do you do that, man? Do the shooting star? No, or? just, like, how are you still, like, flipping and jumping and running and – Dude, I, I don't know, man. I just – just give it your all, I guess. It's it's yeah. fun. It's enjoyable for sure. I love uh, adrenaline, I guess. <laughs> the adrenaline probably helps a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, definitely. Nature's ibuprofen, baby. Yeah. Speaking yeah, of uh, speaking of adrenaline, that Halloween show. I've been meaning that I, I wanted to get into detail with like you, Manny, or you know, Ryo or Insane about that. Like, what was what was it like going through that match? Like, bro, it was fun. Uh, yeah, definitely the person that you would really want to ask is Manny. Yeah. Dude, that dude mm-hmm. took that, some bumps. <laughs> that dude was all over the ring. Yeah. And outside. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but, dude, I got to say, that was my favorite match ever. Yeah. It was sure. good, man. Was I fun. have rewatched that match multiple times. You guys absolutely killed it. Were, were you afraid of it? I mean, well, I can't even say were you afraid because you said you were doing that stuff at, like, 13 and 14. So what, what was that like, like, actually getting to do it? Like, have you had a match of something like that before? No. Uh, I've had a table match. Um, I've had hardcore matches because, you know, back in the day we used to have hardcore Halloween and that was like mm-hmm. our WrestleMania. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so we used to do stuff like that and like do getting body slammed on straight concrete and <laughs> stuff like that, you know. Um, but not like a ladder match, dude. That, yeah. That was sick. That was the coolest match I've ever been in for sure. That was so much fun, dude. It'll light a candle under you too. You're like, you're like, yo, I'm motivated. I want to yeah. get this, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, like you weren't scared of getting up on that ladder, standing all the way at the top and just toffling over maybe <laughs> honestly no man i think Good with God. that when, i think during like matches and stuff like you have so much adrenaline going like at that point you're almost just like on autopilot you yeah know? and if you think you get hurt so True. dude just send it have confidence in yourself like dude that was something that i learned from motocross like dude we're jumping like 150 foot jumps you know <laughs> And, like, dude, I've seen dudes get broken off, like, run up to me freaking out because his bone's sticking out of his finger. And I'm like, dude, I can't jump this jump anymore. (laughs) And then I'm like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I race dirt bikes. I got to get back up there and I got to send it, you know? Mm -hmm. So transitioning into wrestling, man, it's just. That's that adrenaline kicks in. It's it's just go time. Yeah, dude, it's so much fun. Lord, dude, yeah. You you guys amaze me. Um, How much, if you want to touch on it. Mm Mm-hmm. Was there a lot of, like, talking about what was going to happen in the ladder match before it actually happened? Or were you guys just like, yeah, once we get to that spot, let's just go for it? Yeah. Uh, dude, when you work with Manny, Insane, and Ryo, dude, those guys are so good. They mm-hmm. just, you don't have to try, honestly, yeah. dude. Like, Even when something as extreme as a ladder match. Yeah. It was dude. just like, yeah, let's just go. Yeah, dude. Like, those Ooh. guys are, dude, they're awesome. They're so yeah. good. They, like... Yeah, I don't want to blow smoke up in anybody's ass, but, <laughs> dude, all those guys can work, yeah. for sure. And so it yeah, makes it your day easier. After talking practice, they, they definitely know what's going on. Yeah. They'll, they'll correct you on anything. They'll point out anything, like, as fast as possible, so yeah. mm-hmm. testament to that. Most definitely. Sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you've broken off of OSD. Yeah. What is, uh, what is the future for uh, Ace? Dude, just, uh, man, just work on smoothing everything out, yeah. get, get more aggressive, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I still just try to try to learn, you know, it's, it's never ending. So just keep keep trying to learn more and more, man, mm-hmm. for sure. So do you plan on going for any titles, any single titles? Uh, that's the goal. Shit. Yeah, yeah dude, definitely. <laughs> yeah. No more ties to a tag team. Yeah, definitely. Yep. That would be sick. Did you um, do you like being in tag teams or have you always really 
seen yourself as a singles singles guy? Man, dude. I used if you would have asked me this like a year ago, I'd be like, dude, screw tag teams. Yeah. But dude, I don't know. I like working with Manny and mm. Jose, dude, like, I don't know, man. They just they make tag teams so fun. Yeah. You know? You can see it too. You're yeah. Out. The matches that I've seen that it's been uh, the three of you guys so far, they've been really fun matches to watch. Yeah, man. Like, and you guys were going against some newbies. Yeah, and you guys yeah. still made it fun, though. <laughs> Dude, definitely. Speaking of that, yeah, Manny. We always, every time something happens to Manny, we always bring it up just like in passing. Yeah, that German suplex was Dude, insane. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the corner. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. He just got tossed. I was like, man, am I missing something? Because I saw Adam run out. I was like, Dude, <laughs> is Manny dead or what? <laughs> I was like, hey, man, kicking him. Like, you alive? <laughs> Manny knows how to um, kill himself, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah just for lack of better words, kill himself. He's, dude, he's pretty good at it. You guys saw that ladder match, like yeah, that Spanish yeah. fly was. Dude, the Spanish fly was wicked. The power bomb, uh, power bomb power onto bomb. the ladder, the sideways, yeah. And then like how he clotheslined himself off the ladder and went out of the ring. Yes, I was like, dude, holy hell. Manny underappreciated. I feel that man. <laughs> yep, deserves to be seen. Definitely and talked about a lot more. Hopefully, we can get him on here. I agree. One point. Hey man, super cool, super chill to talk to. Yep. Yeah, it's really cool to be. Super humble. Yeah. yeah. But you are yeah. going to be in action at our at our next show this weekend, mm-hmm. right? It's going to be you and a mystery partner against yeah. against uh, the two remaining members of OSD. You know. <laughs> yep. You said it. You said the last show you got you got someone in mind. You feel feel pretty confident that you and your 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 homeboy can go in and. Yeah, I'm hoping to talk to him tonight actually. So if I see him, oh, so. Very nice. Right yeah. Nice. I, but I definitely have a couple people in mind for sure. But one guy really stands out, so I'm excited. Ah, uh, you know, sorry, man. I gotta, <laughs> I got my own things going on. Oh, uh, bro, uh, come on, man. Uh, hey, sorry. dude, wow. for real, you were on one, on my list. Hey, you know, it's like, they don't dude. call me the Star Boy for nothing. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, Zach taught me a lot. Shout out to Zach. Hell yeah, shout dude. out to Zach. Sign the eight, by, sign eight by ten. <laughs> Uh, love my five. <laughs> love my five. Yep. Uh, have you and your weird photo dimensions. Thirteen and eight. Thirteen by eight. Thir- what? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Dimensions. You guys wouldn't understand. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. I won't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where do you see Ace at the end of this year? Ah, uh, at the end of this year, dude. It's a good question. With the Rona going on, it's kind of hard to do anything. Everything's up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We got some shows planned out for April in San Antonio, but I don't know. We also were supposed to do in August, but COVID shut them down too. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, Where would you like to see Ace? Dude, I want to see a belt around my damn arm. <laughs> you know? That would that'd be cool. Yeah. I sure. wouldn't put it past you, man. Uh, as long as you – I feel like if you get support from the crowd and you back it up in the ring, you can do it. And uh, you definitely got support from the crowd. Yeah. Whenever yeah. OSD beat the living hell out of you, bleep that. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh. um, Sorry. Was, oh, dude, I got scared. I, was, I thought like, you pressed I, something. I don't have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> those of you who probably couldn't hear that, there was a howling noise that we all just had a very perplexed look on our face. Well, I just looked straight at Jay. I was like, what button did you I, press? I, I why, do we, why do we have a wolf sound? I looked at him too, and I was like, I don't have a wolf sound. <laughs> I, I immediately looked at the board, and I was like, are we We're either getting attacked right now, or you have a weird soundboard, man. Yeah. But no, it's Ace and his killer ringtone. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it, popular. Yeah, it's letting me know what the weather's like. <laughs> wait, wait, really? <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's it's, real? It's That's... for my airplane app. <laughs> 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 yeah, it lets me know what the weather's going to be like for tomorrow to go flying. So That's dope. Oh, yeah, and you fly, too. I, for, I oh, forgot wow. all about that. Yeah. 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 You want to yeah. touch on that? If you can't touch on that, can you touch about it? Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. How did you so, that? Uh, my grandfather was a fighter pilot. No, uh, <laughs> My uncle was a fighter pilot. And, dude, that's how Ace Idell happened is... My uncle was Top Gun. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. Dude, for real. He did the flying for the movie Top Gun. Really? And, oh, yeah. wow. He flew F-14s, and, dude, I always wanted to be like him, and then my eyes weren't that great, so military was kind of out of the way for me. Yeah. But, yeah, everything's based around my uncle. Dude. That's really cool. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I, really I've cool. always heard you in, like, passing mention flying, but mm-hmm. I was always like, yeah, ace, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that's actually, yeah. that's actually really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I try to do that. Starboy, astronomy, astrophysics. I think I've talked about it once before. Oh, sick, dude. Yeah, but uh, oof, once you actually start doing rocket science, stuff is not fun. Dude, no, I can only imagine. Fun. And gravitation. Hey. Yeah, let's not get into <laughs> it. Just, just, just do astrology, PTSD. bro. Just do astrology. That's pretty sick, though. That's what you're doing? Did. Did? Past tense. <laughs> that stuff sucks. <laughs> but yeah, I can get into that uh, at another time. But um, Dude, sick. Real quick, Pat did three count. Clap, clap. <laughs> Clap, clap, clap. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, whatever. Three count is supposed to be, uh, what, 
I already forgot. It's, it's, it's our, three, it's three our, minutes? yeah, it's, it's our pseudo recurring segment. Pseudo recurring. Basically, it's supposed to be like three minutes. We ask you a bunch of fast questions and you answer them as fast as you want to. But you know cool. what? Yeah. We don't even stay true to that ourselves. We kind of just ask more questions. They're kind of like off the beaten path of what we usually do. Sick. Um, so answer as fast as you want or as slow as you want. Who cares? We just work here, Jay. We just work here. Epic. Put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> First question that people know what I'm going to ask. Favorite mm-hmm. ring attire of all time, go. AJ Styles. AJ Styles? Dude, yeah. definitely. The black and gold with the white kick pads. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dude, hands down. Like yep. the like the t- like late 2000s TNA AJ Styles? Or more yeah, like some uh, extreme <laughs> rules against uh, Rollins. That was black and gold too, wasn't it? Yeah, that, yeah. that's the one I'm talking yeah. about. Ah, that new yes. one. But dude, the old AJ Styles the gear. Shirt, that's, that's, that's it was like was the thinking. glittery, yeah. like the red and the blue. Like, yeah. Dude, I'm, that was like stand out for me. So. Yeah, I remember that one because uh, Seth Rollins, his tights were just, they looked like they were just straight black, but then they had some kind of like opaqueness to it. Yep. And I'm, I'm a killer. I'm a sucker for all the like simple and subtle gear, yeah, but yeah. like it stands out in a large way. And yeah, his tights on that, first of all, that was a good match. Second of all, yep. his tights were dope. Yep. That definitely. gold and like sparkly white and black. It was good. Dude. Good. Yeah. Go ahead and get your. Ooh. Uh, so knowing, knowing that you kind of were started getting into wrestling around the time, what are your thoughts on Wrestling Society X? You ever watch that dude i did watch wrestling society x that stuff was crazy um that was pretty cool for sure like yeah. i want to say that's where jack evans got his big yeah title yeah it was crazy like, you go back and look at, yeah jack, jack evans teddy hart was there human tornado was there too yeah xbox Jeez. xbox showed up for like dude, a few episodes are you serious really? yeah. yeah it was one season on mtv and it was just like it was pretty cool. Actually. Yeah, it was like it was rad. It, and they, that kind of kept it that lucha underground style where it was yeah. like wrestling, but there was like some sort of there's like a lot more like a like a story element to it. Mm-hmm. But it was like 2007 MTV, so it was just like all over the place. Right, like they were throwing dudes through like. Uh, like little like barbed wire crates, and when they hit the crate, like they had like uh, like explode like oh, little yeah. like, oh, pyro yeah, explosives. So they would, they would like they would, like hit the hit the barbed wire, and then it would be like pa 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 pa, and then like uh, the, yep. they'd be like, oh my god, he's dead, and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. It was fantastic. Oh, one season is like ten episodes, but it's prime like late two thousands MTV. I was gonna say that's great. That really sounds into, yeah. MTV. That that just sounds like MTV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and get your question in, Jay Mason. Uh, favorite pay per view. Favorite dude, like WrestleMania X Seven. Yeah, X Seven. X Seven. That's X7? a real good. Yep. It's the best WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Hands down, top dude. To bottom. Yep, top to bottom. Every single match was just, dude. I still watch it, and I'm like, I was gonna say you can go, yeah, wow. the whole card. Yeah, Favorite dude. match out of the whole card, though. Yep. Yeah. Dude, that TLC match. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can't can't blame you, dude. Can't blame you. Definitely. Because I was a big, you know, Jeff Hardy, Rey yeah. Mysterio, dude. Those guys got me into wrestling. Yeah. You know, I always wanted to be them. Yeah. I um. Fun fact. My little brothers and I, uh, we would always watch because we never got to watch the actual pay per views mm-hmm. up until uh, I talked about it last time. Was it WrestleMania twenty? It was the second time. Well, no, it was the first time Triple H and Undertaker went against each other. We talked about this like it was no way out. Five, it would have been no. Nah, it was uh, it was the WrestleMania twenty seven. Oh, okay. That was the first WrestleMania I actually got to watch like all the way through instead of watching highlights on uh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. But me and my brothers used to always watch the highlights on YouTube of X seven, and uh, our mom had bought us a Spider Man table. And a bunch of Spider-Man chairs, and we had a, a bunk bed, and we used to throw each other off onto that. Oh and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she found out last year. We were like, like ten whenever mm-hmm. we did that. She didn't find out that we had got rid of that table like quietly up until like last year. So <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. We I used to do the whole breaking through tables thing too, but uh, dude, yeah, hell yeah, in a very bad way. I was a bad kid. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> but um, I think we all have those. Demons that we right. hide from our parents. <laughs> Jumping off the balcony. No. We'll get into that later. Oh Jumping off God. the balcony, though. Try to. I could. Don't do it, kids. Uh, never had a balcony. Trees. Yep. Lived yep. in a one story house. Yeah. Apartment. Jumped off the porch, I, though. I, 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 I never put my brothers. I never put my younger brother through tables. I just like. <laughs> I was just like. I was like, okay, I'm going to put you in a sharpshooter. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around. They, yeah. Sharpshooters don't leave scars. Say goodbye to your legs. Physical ones, at least. Mentally. <laughs> mentally. <laughs> you tapped out. That's all I needed. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, right now. Top five men wrestlers and women wrestlers. Oh, dude. All right. Uh, AJ Styles, Amazing Red, um, dude, Shawn Michaels, nice. Rey Mysterio, and dude, I got to get that fifth one in. Man. Might be Samoa Joe. Nice. Oh, okay. wow. wow. That's a beaten. That's. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming. I was going to say, yeah, you have all the agile, somewhat flippy guys, and then just Samoa Joe. Just a bruiser. Dude, yeah. he's so aggressive. Yeah. Him and AJ great. had a bunch of good feuds back in the day. Oh, I yeah. wish they would have translated over to I WWE really better. wish they would have done it. Yep. That, that was, was that was right when I was like, when I first found out about TNA was when it was like the big 
It was like they were the the three like heads of TNA were Styles, Joe, and, and yeah, and CD, yeah, yeah. Christopher yeah. Daniels. So it was just like good matches, man. Oh Dude. god, the, they're it's still I, the best matches. Mm-hmm. Knowing more about wrestling now and going back and watching their Triple Threat, I think it was yeah. 2005. Yeah, the 2005 yeah. Triple Threat. I can yeah. never remember the name of the event, but it was it was like the, it was well, a five star, it was a five star match. Yeah, it was, mm-hmm. it was a five star match that they had, and it was just god, it was just. I don't know what it is about AJ Styles, but that man knows how to work a triple threat. Like every good triple threat that I can think of off the top of my head, like has AJ Styles. Yeah, that dude. man knows how to. Yeah, man's good. Uh, top five women wrestlers, uh, dude. I think Ember Moon. Uh, I really like her a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Charlotte Flair. Really yeah. like Charlotte mm-hmm. Flair. Um, Bianca Belair. Sick. Nice. Dude. Hey. She's, she's mm-hmm. getting her credit right now. Yeah, I love dude. It. Finally, agreed. Yeah. Uh, Lita. And nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Old. Uh, old school Trish Stratus. Nice. Dude, yep. Those are the girls I looked okay. up to. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sound. Soundless. Yeah. Soundless. Can't hate you for that. <laughs> yeah. We got any more boys? Um, dream opponent. If you could, pass present. Dude. AJ. <laughs> Dude. Uh, it's obvious. I'm, I'm kind of an, uh, a mark for AJ. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I mean rightfully so though. Yeah. yeah. AJ is a uh, probably once in a lifetime kind of wrestler yeah mm-hmm. like i can't even it, it's hard to describe like what he's done the fact that he even debuted at the royal rumble someone like him that's been through yep. every single independent went over to japan and he came through because i knew of aj styles when i was growing up i used to always you know flick the tna and see him mm-hmm. yeah i'm like oh man this guy's cool he used to do that um i can't remember what it was outside of the ring the, it was like a corkscrew out of the ring or like a oh, spiral the, tap or spi- the, i don't know if he did a spiral I, the, tap, spiral tap was like the 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 corkscrew in the wing i don't yeah. know the, he did some kind of corkscrew that's the first time i saw him on tv he was doing a corkscrew out of the ring i was like this dude's dope yeah but yeah i remember always seeing him and i'd be like there's no way that dude's going to wwe like he's too big outside like they would never love him yep that dude came in and like what that within a year got a it. championship yep yeah went to got the us and then yeah, God, that dude is just one of the US. He held the he held, he held the WWE championship for like a, almost, almost basically a year. year basically. Yeah. A year. yeah, that dude is yeah wrestling god right there. Yep, dude Not for Mark sure. Yeah, to me, he's the goat. You know. Yeah. Like, dude, he's aggressive. He can, can put make matches. Yeah, dude. Mm. It, Taker wanted him for his last match too. Yeah, he. That's I right. mean, he technically yep. he technically is Taker's last match, mm-hmm. which is pretty cool. Yeah, he yeah, did people. That says yeah. a lot about somebody too. You know, for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, especially they asked for him, but uh. Yeah, that'll wrap it up for our podcast today. Thank you, Ace, for coming in. Yeah, flippy boy doing flippy things. And can, hey, <laughs> what we learned today, he can Matt wrestle Matt too, guys. Wrestle too. He can do it. <laughs> get, ready, get ready for my debut. going to be a catch catch match against Ace. Oh, yeah? No, no, let's no, go. How's that going to go? I'm all for it. <laughs> no flips, just fist, baby. <laughs> FTR. Oh, boo, trademarked. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you for coming on. We really appreciate it. You came out of your way to come over here. For man, sure, man. Thank, thank you, you so much. You guys are the backbone. Yeah. <laughs> You know, we try. <laughs> Working on it. Yeah, hey, get us our plug. Oh, merch. yeah. So, of course, uh, we do have merch now. You can come. Uh, you can head on over to teespring.com. Look up, look us up at AAPW. Uh, we've got shirts, hoodies, so various cool. apparel. It's very comfy. Buy it. Support AAPW. Uh, we love your money. Uh, if you use the code Papa Don, you get 15% off your order, so you can love your money too. Uh, we also have a show. Co- we also have a show coming up uh, this Saturday, February the 13th. It is the second ever uh, wrestling and drag show. Uh, of course, it's the second ever because we also did the first one. True. But that. the drag queens are back. Uh, we've got some Where's exciting, exciting matches. Uh, I'm pretty sure Danny over here has got a got a match. And we, like we discussed, our uh, ace, our guest here, Ooh. has one as well. So get on down here okay. or watch us on various social medias where we stream on Facebook and. Twitch and YouTube all at the same time. You have to have at least one of those, right? It's 2021. Like, come on, bro. Uh, yeah, FOMO. It's going to be a packed show, packed house, great stuff. Uh, and as always, make sure you listen to the Buckle Bomb. Uh, episodes come out weekly. Yeah, you or, know, uh, we try. <laughs> weekly with Technical an, things come up. Weekly with an asterisk. But, yeah. you know, if you're listening to this, then you made it this far. So congrats. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your mama. Tell your daddy. Yeah. Tell your aunt while you're at it. Right? Yeah. Not Why your not? uncle, though. I don't, want, I don't want your uncle listening to us. Yeah, yeah your uncle's a creep. Yeah, yeah, don't so. don't yeah. figure it out. He was at the swimming party, and he kept showing me his big toe. Yeah. What a weirdo. All right. <laughs> Stay away from Uncle Rick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.